What's up guys and welcome back to this next episode of this Mercedes Mobility Minibus Motorhome Conversion. So today's video I'm going to be fitting in a tru uh, Truma water heater. This water heater is a 10 litre water heater that's designed specifically for motorhomes, caravans, this that the other. It has an external vent flue so all gases from the combustion automatically get exhausted straight out the side of the vehicle. It's just going to be a relatively simple and straightforward install. You've got a gas connection going in. You've got your 240 connection already pre-wired there. So then it's just going to be a case of getting the cold and hot water plumbed in. Giving it a fire up. Obviously a 12 volt connection as well. And hopefully by the end of this video we'll have some nice piping hot, hot water ready to feed across for the sink when the sink's fitted in and across for the shower when the shower's fitted in as you can see there's still plenty of uh, jobs I'm still cracking on with I'm still halfway through a lot of them at the moment but I'm trying to get the water system in at the moment so then I can get the shower f uh, finished off the sink finished off this that the other so I'm going to be fitting the Truma water heater under the sofa bed I'm going to be putting a little platform on top of this timber frame for it to sit on top of so then it will be able to exhaust straight out the side of the bus if it was sat right on the floor it might hit a little bevel in the fiberglass panelling on the outside so just raising it up just so it sits on top of the frame of this sofa bed it should be able to then just exhaust out nicely and it's not going to catch any actual fiberglass uh, panelling so I'm going to finish putting that little uh, support panel down there it's going to be supported with some more CSL timbers as well that's the sheet I've got already cut down so I'm going to get that in place then we'll get the heater in we'll start cutting some holes in the side of the bus and as I say hopefully by the end of the video we'll have some uh, fully functioning hot water now everything I'm going to be using for this install including the heater all the uh, John Guest speed fit plumbing fittings this that the other all the pot, uh, copper pipe work I'll put links to everything in the description of the video so if you are thinking of fitting a similar sort of heater, as I say, just have a look in the description and there'll be links to everything that I'm using within this install. So I'll get some safety gear out, get some tools out, and I'll get cracked on. Right, so there's the hole cut as well as the hole drilled through for the emergency drain hole as well so now we just need to get the cowl put back on screw that through and i'll give it a good smothering of sycoflex all the way around just to be sure that there's not going to be able to get any water in the hole but by the time that's secured on and the cowl's screwed through as well it's going to be tightly pressed against the fiberglass panel so there's not going to be any chance of getting any water in especially by the time it's fully covered all the way around with a good smothering of sycoflex all the way around so I'll get that out, I'll get the sick flex out, full chunky bead all the way around, get the cowl attached, then we'll be able to get the plastic cover on, and then we'll be able to get the plumbing done on the inside. there's the metal cowl in place so now the only thing left to do is fit all the plastics on top of this and then that's all the exterior bodywork complete and you know you've got a good seal underneath this when you've got all the sealant sticking air starting to poke out the screw holes that the next screws are about to go through as well so there's not going to be any chance of any water getting through behind this metal work into the air hole so I'm perfectly happy that this is 100% watertight so now it's just a case of getting the plastic covers on and then we'll get the copper pipe work plumbed in on the inside and then get the water fixtures and fittings on and that'll be it, almost done.
Right guys, so that is the Tumor water heater all connected and plumbed in now. All the electrics are connected. All of the plumb works connected as well. A couple of bits I didn't show while I was fitting it in just because I just cracked on forgetting to film at the, at the time. It was mainly the actual uh, connections for all the plumbing itself. So for the cold water, obviously I've got an on off uh, switch there just so I can stop all the water going to a cold uh, into the tank from the cold water feed just for emergency purposes. Just flip the switch, stops all the water flowing through. From there there's a little section of the semi-rigid pipe going to a John Guest converter that converts from the semi-rigid pipe to your standard type of flex. This then goes onto a non-return valve and that means again if there was any issues with the tank water is only going to flow through it, it can't flow back so it can't start flooding your van or anything like that if there was any issues with any of the pipe work or the tank anything like that. From your non-return valve it goes into your emergency drain this is how you can empty the tank for winter periods <clears throat> or if there's any issues with the tank or any of the piping just flip this little switch up and that drains the water completely now it can be down either way on the orientation, it doesn't matter that lets the water straight through but if you ever need to drain it off for any reason at all flip that switch up and that will drain all the water through from the emergency drain cold water feed, that's it, the only other connection on the hot water is an emergency pressure relief valve that again is a one way valve in the hot water connection obviously you've got your hot water pipe feed going off to your normal water connections but on the other side of this there's a T piece and that again needs just a little pipe drilling through the floor of the van and that is an over pressure relief valve in case the pressure inside the tank started to build up for whatever reason and it needed to relief some of the pressure so again that does need to be fitted and that's another pipe that also needs drilling through the floor just for emergency purposes more than anything else. So that is the tank fully connected, all of the pipe works fully connected, the gas works on, the electrics are in, the, 12, uh, the 240 and 12 volts all connected. So now the only thing left to do is to fill the tank up with water, give it a test fire and hopefully we're going to have some nice hot water coming out of the hot water boiler. So to fill the tank it's all connected up to the Sure flow water pump that I've got in the van. So just to open up the valve and that will start filling the water into the tank and you might hear the water pump kick in in the background. So that's slowly filling the tank with 10 litres of water. I'll pick it back up when the tank's full and it's ready to fire up. Alright, so as you can see I've got a green light on the controller unit now and the burn is burning away so I'll pick this back up when I've got some nice hot water ready to come out the taps in the shower and as you can see I've got some nice hot water coming out the shower I'm just filling it into a bucket now because I don't want to fill my wastewater tank at the moment so it's just easier just to empty out the bucket but that's some nice hot water out the shower straight from the water tank so that's pretty much the water heater pretty much all done And just to show I've got some nice lovely warm water coming from the water heater through to the tap. I'll just put the tap on and you should be able to see some steam starting to come through. I don't know how well you can make that out but some lovely steam coming off this nice hot water here. So as you can see this is lovely hot water that I've got now inside this camper van. So that's how I fitted a Truma Ultra Store water heater in this camper van means I'm going to have nice warm water coming out of the tap for the kitchen and also for the shower unit as well. So I hope you found this video useful. If you're after one of these water heaters yourself, have a look in the description below the video. I'll put a link to this water heater on both eBay and Amazon so you can get one yourself. Really simple, straightforward to fit. So as I say, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please do give it that good old thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, if you're new to the channel. Plenty of content on there already, and there's lots more to come, so hit that subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up. Check the description for the links for the heater, for the tools I've used, and for all my social feeds as well. And hopefully, I'll see you on the next video of the series. Thanks for watching. Cheers.